All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. And today, we are back in Against the Storm. Uh, and very nervous at the same time. We uh, have an expedition that we've done the last two streams, which has us right here next to seal number three. And we are uh, about to attempt it. We're about to attempt it. So we can click on any of these tiles around this. Hi, Shugo. Uh, I'm not sure if that changes anything. Like, this one right here has way more rewards. Let me see. Conditions. Uh, it's like the, the meat level. Uh, looks the same. Let's see. Abyssal Revenge, Hidden Seal, Beacon Tower, Overgrown Vegetation. Uh, hidden, Abyssal Revenge, Hidden Seal, Beacon Tower, Overgrown Vegetation. Seems the same. Uh, let's see. Caravans. Let's see. Sealed Forest. Uh, average Amount. Sealed Forest, Average Amount. Sealed Forest, Average Amount. Uh, it's odd that some of these have better rewards than others. Okay. So this one... This one has 84 biscuits, whereas this one gives 24? I don't know why. Alright, so yeah, if they all give the same rewards, I guess I'll pick the one that's got, uh... Or if they all have the same challenge, I guess I'll pick the one that's got the more biscuits. Alright. Will the kidnapper be back? I hope not? Dude, that thing was awful. Uh, beacon tower, overgrown vegetation. Uh, okay. Ha, huh, further away from settlement, probably. Maybe. Alright. How do we want to do this? So, this place, how much, uh... Average amount of soil. And we cannot... Let's see, hold on. Lizards or lizards and harpies? Are they all lizards or lizard harpies? I think so. I think that doesn't matter. Alright. Lizards or lizards harpies. Uh, Alright, start with a farm. More people. And... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, vegetables. Alright, we're on Viceroy difficulty. This one starts with the most people. I'll pick that. Would love to get humans if possible. We'll see if that happens. Okay. And what do lizards start with? I had a bonus for them. I think they start with like 10 tools. Uh, Alright, so we'll do that. Okay. Nervous. Here we go. Yeah, I hope the kidnapper doesn't come in, dude, especially on the, the seal map. Oh my gosh, can't be dealing with that. He does know he doesn't have to be on Viceroy. I know what I choose to. Let's see, time between breaks increased by 25%. Uh, minus four global resolve. Uh, woodcutters are faster, but have a double chance of destroying their yield. Recipes produce building materials yield 50% fewer goods during storm. Uh, global food production slowed by 15% per hostility during storm. Blood flower will spawn every 90 seconds during the storm. All right. Hey, humans. Awesome. And there is soil right there. Okay. All right. Uh, so we got hu humans and harpies and lizards. All right. First of all, we're going to put a human right there. Second of all, what have we got? Reed field and roots. We will put that right there. Um... Let's see, woodcutter's camp, do that, and what is this, harvester's camp, put that there, and then let's build a road, and a road, and what buildings are we going to start with? Uh, forester's hut, trapper's camp, weaver manufactory. Um, Hmm. I think Forester's Camp? Forester's Hut for the Crystallized Dew, if we can find a field to put it on. Leather Worker, Furnace, Supplier, or Monastery. Monastery gives minus 100 hostility. Um. Supplier. Gives pies. What does it take to make pies again? It takes flour plus one of these. You can, make, you can make meat pies. Make some chicken pot pies. Alright. We've already got farms. So I guess supplier? I don't really love any of these. Uh, Alright, so we've already got that. 
Let's see. Druid's Hut gives three things I don't currently have access to. Lumber Mill gives better planks and pack of trade goods. Brickyard gives another way of getting crystallized dew. Let's go Druid's Hut. Don't love any of this, but we're working with what we've got here. All right, big shelter. How many people do I have? 13. All right, make some big shelters. Let's increase the game speed a bit. Put a human there. Lizard's there. Let's get multiple chopping trees if possible. Happy long we get everybody. Hello, Fox! Is it a long weekend? What, what What's special about this weekend? Do you have Friday off or Monday off? Yo, I'm, I work 24-7. I don't know, I don't know what, uh, what's special this weekend for y'all. Uh, let's see. Do I do this right away? Uh, gain 20 reed and clay for each glade. Porch production increases by one for 150 units of drizzle water. Or prayer, uh, prayer book. Hmm. 20 reed and clay for each glade. Porch production increase every 150 units of drizzle water produced. Go for that in the hopes that it helps out later. Let's do that for the decor. Uh, let's see, crude workstation. And let's see. Makeshift posts. And all right, put two of the people in there just to help haul stuff around right now. And let's go to the fuel thing. person in here and let's prioritize planks for now and change the settings on a few of the stuff all right let's see what task the queen has two dangerous glade events completed uh 16 value of goods sold this one would be the e a very easy one cut into five glades within five minutes the trees on this map have like double the health. They take a much longer to cut through. There's no way I can do this. I would love the stone delivery line. There's no way I can do it. Um, I think we're going to go for this one. Deliver six purging fire or feed 30 people jerky. Plus oil production or plus insect production. Um, it's really rare to have insect production. So I guess let's go for purging fire. Uh, need for clothing fulfilled. That is getting done right now. Harpies start you with 50 clothes. So we've got clothes right now. So that, uh, that would be easy, easy. This gives plus to pack production. And planting crops is faster. Let's go for the coats. All right, and then let's make a, let's get a few other early game things made. Uh, let's do the trading post. We can always move it later. That's right, and we get, uh, we get meat from these trees sometimes, so that's gonna help with food. Ok, 
Okay, trading post is online. Should we need it? Let's move that over there a little bit. First storm is starting. Plague of mosquitoes. Global production speed is slowed down. Okay. So it's not really uh, destroying anything, but speed is slower. I could go for some jerky. You could go for some jerky, Fox. Not gonna have anyone in this hut right now, but just getting it ready. Still have people that don't have a home. We are working on that. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, these are these are these are nice. Um, the cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered glades, but discovering forbidden or dangerous glades kills a villager. But then hauling cart, automated rain pump can be assigned to every warehouse. This right. These are both really good. I think I'm gonna go ancient pact. I think we go ancient pact. All right, there's a geyser there, another geyser there, another geyser there. Where's the seal? Will it tell me where the seal is? Fertile soil right there. All right, hang on. Uh, let's do this and break in here. I'm sure. I mean, once we broke in, break into one glade, we should get a thing that points us to the seal, and that'll make us make this a lot easier. I'm not sure if the ancient pact will tell us where it is. Uh, let's see, two lizards or one lizard, one harpy. Um, let's get this one. Let's add another person here. Trader arrive, Zorg. Okay, don't think there's really anything I can do with him right now. And move that. All right, farm field. That. This needs an herbalist camp. Space is tricky right now. Let's see, pick a thing. Uh, butcher and 25 oil to get more oil income. Resin, bleeding trees. Uh, sacrifice coal, oil, and wood at the hearth. Have at least one hearth upgrade to level two. And deliver 10 amber within six minutes. My hearth is level zero. It's about to be level one. Hmm, is that worth stressing over though? The reward is, eh? I don't know if it's worth stressing over. Let's get the resin income. Or uh, the, yeah, the, the resin income. Uh, fill your villagers need for clothes 35 times. We're already working on that. Gives a bonus to fabric production. Um, deliver vegetables and grain. Gives porridge production. I don't have any grain income. I could potentially buy some. Where's the trader? Oh, he already left. No, I can't. 
All right, let's go for the close one. That'll be a two for one. Morning, Michael Chad. Hi, Cassie. All right. Um, small farm. And let's push back these trees a little bit so that we can uh, build a camp for that. Okay, everybody has a home. That's good. All right, and then this thing says that our seal is this way. Harmony Spirit, Ancient Seal, it's in there. It's right there, okay. All right, so is there any more crop? All right, there's fertile soil there and there. All right. Finish pushing this back and then we'll go for the next fertile soil. Wish I had more humans, but I don't, so I'll have to get a lizard farming here. Uh, need for clothing fulfilled is done. So let's do that, and that gives us another building. Herb camp, herb garden, trapper's camp, or grill. Herb garden, can I get, let's see, fertile soil... Fertile soil. So I could go for those two and get herb camp on one and the forester's hut on the other. Morning muck. Hey, Cassie. He hasn't noticed YouTube chat is awake. YouTube chat is awake. Hey, Bluebell. Uh, Deborah Zerg, I see you. Sorry. Hey, j just to be you know, fully equal uh, you know, equality here, I was ignoring both chats. <laughs> this game makes me focus too hard. All right, we're going to get herb garden. And then, see, that's fertile soil, that's fertile soil. All right, so, da 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 da. Yes, I believe in true equality. I ignore everyone. Copper, we got clay. All right, we don't need multiple of these guidance stones, uh, so we will sell it. I did not know the, uh, until chat told me that you could sell those stones. Because, like, I wouldn't think you could. It's like, I didn't build it, but it does let you. Um, need to have room if I want to make a mine there. So we'll do that. Like, it, it doesn't seem intuitive to me, but here we are. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then we need four blue decorations. So just put some lamps there. Lamp! Harvester's camp has no deposits nearby. All right, let's sell that. And this one, harpies get a bonus at that one. So let's swap that out and put a harpy here. All right, uh, let's do herb garden there. This is not the hardest difficulty. It is a very hard difficulty, but there's more above it. It's like there's insane and then insane plus one and insane plus two and yada yada yada. It's kind of like that. All right, plague of malady. Villagers take longer breaks and have a hundred percent higher chance of consuming twice as much food. Okay, not much I could do about that. Uh, trappers camp. Let's build one of those. Add another guy to that one for now. Uh, watching their resolve. I can... Let's do this. Temporarily, I'm going to put a lizard as the firekeeper, which gives everyone plus one resolve. That puts us all in the positive.
Uh, looks like breaking into that glade actually put us into the negative, so continuing to keep an eye on it. Okay, we're fine. All right, swap back to a human, which gives you uh, queen gets mad more slowly. 50% more from herb garden. Traders have more for sale, plus leather production. Let's get more from herb garden, which we're trying to get online right now. And we can sell that. All right, so we've unearthed a couple of copper veins. Get some more people. Uh, four either way, but this comes with two humans, which are better farmers. So we will put them there. And then we need another home. We've got people that need it. And lizards there until we get humans that can do it. Lizards there to farm the stampies. Delicious insects. Mmm. Right, forester's hut. And can we afford a warehouse over here? Alright, warehouse there for the farms to turn in so they don't have to travel as far. Uh, Trader Farloff. Um. Hold on, need for clothing fulfilled. That's done. We can do some trading now if I wish to. Um, hmm. Could I coal? Not sure if I should. Alright, let's look at the other small things. Let's see, rainbow. There's more fertile soil there. Sea marrow. Reed field. Uh, drizzle water geyser. I don't know if there's ever if there's any coal veins on this map. I'm seeing lots of copper ones. Could go for let's go for this one, and then get the drizzle water. We could start using that to make uh, better food. If you open the trader or order menu, you should be able to see all mats on the map. The trader or the order menu. Order menu? Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I don't see copper on the map. Or, I, I'm sorry, I see copper, I don't see coal on the map. I misspoke. Get rid of that. Alright, there's the rain geyser. Let's get that set up. Okay, two more tasks. Use 175 storm water. Burn 18 cis. Plus one to coal production. Um this kind of go hand in hand, but this is the better reward. I'll pick the coal production. Not that I have coal production, but uh, I have a bunch of farm fields. That will be easy. I'll have that soon. Actually, I already have it. I just have to make the crops. Okay, need some people working in here. Um, let's take one from there. And I have no one available to build right now. So if I want someone to build, I have to pull them out of another building at the moment. Uh, oh, we've unlocked another thing. Kiln? Something that makes coal would be the dream right now. Um, 
Smelter, Brickyard, Distillery. Let's use our one reroll. Let's get the bathhouse. trade 16 value of goods sold um in a trader or trade route Resin do I have? I forget. Do I get resin from the trees on this map? No, I don't. I get sea marrow. Um, let's prioritize burning the sea marrow for just normal fuel to let the wood stockpile a bit. Because you cannot do like the super burn on sea marrow for during a storm to really get anything out of it. Okay. Stop chopping trees. Oh, wait, this map doesn't give you any reprieve when you stop chopping trees, does it? I don't think it does. I do not think it does. Um... Hmm. We can keep chopping trees, however, we don't get anything for it. blue face bottom left, I think. Uh, Abyssal Revenge. Woodcutters don't increase hostility, but every 10 felled trees adds 10 to hostility. Base scales of difficulty. So I'm still gonna stop chopping trees because I'm not getting anything out of it right now. Let's put these guys over here. Sacrifices are blocked. <sighs> wow, okay. That's not great. Uh so I can't stop chopping to lower hostility to, to fix resolve, and I also can't sacrifice to help fix resolve. That's quite the one-two punch. You might be able to get by with the tower. Yeah, but this is only the second storm. I really wouldn't. I really hoping I don't have to use the the big cooldowns right away. I might have to though. All right, meat, grain, more goods. Villagers with low resolve will leave the town 50% slower for this season. Global production increases the season. Hostility decreased by 100 for the season. The plague ones are one off effects, so you wouldn't have darkness in future years. Um, I mean, the problem right now is the. Uh, cannot burn, what is it, you cannot burn um, sacrifices. I cannot do sacrifices right now. Like, the the multiple tools I have to try to fix uh, 
problems, like all those are unavailable to me. Song of Hope. Let's see what happens. And get these guys in here so they're doing something right now. RP left. Lizard farmer left. <laughs> this is so stupid. Ah. Uh. All right. Gain one amber for every fifty wood. Hauling carts. Uh, I gained three barrels for every ten planks. Let's get the hauling carts. Small trapper's camp has no deposits nearby. All right. Let's get uh, stone. And... Let's see. All right, resolve is back in the positive. And check this. Uh, get the humans because farming. Okay. A little coal in the wood. All right. Let's do that. Put the lizards back into these thing, the uh, woodcutters. Do I need more homes at the moment? No, I don't right now. Got the bathhouse. Okay, so we could do supplier or druid's hut. Do druid's hut for now. Charms of skill, almost five gold apiece now. <laughs> We've destroyed the economy and I helped. <laughs> that video. It was already happening, but I definitely threw some gasoline on that. Doing my part. Gif. Yup. Uh, need a harpy here. I only have one harpy. God dang it! I had two, and I lost one during the storm. Yes, yes. Trader arrived Zorg. Uh -huh. 
What's up, Zorg? Uh, let's see. Pick a new task. Complete two events with empathy or 60 treatment. I have the... Bathhouse can do treatment, right? Yeah, it can. So that should be something I can do. So when the next storm starts, I'll have everybody uh, in the wood camps run into the bathhouse and work from there. Prioritize porridge, because we've got infinite water right now with the geyser. Alright, so... Seal's right there. We're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go through one of these. This one has a uh, farm on it, though. Fallen Lizard Hunters. I don't know what that is. Uh, can we build another warehouse down here? Which will also give us another hauling cart. Decorations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four more of these. And then four of the yellow decors. Okay. Excuse me. Plague of Mysteries. Minus three, uh, it takes minus three hostility to activate bad stuff. <laughs> so all of it's kicking in again. Uh. All right. Rip. All right, I got the guys out of the wood chopping places. Burning two wood ends up with this. Lizard in the hearth gives us one more resolve. Favor Harpies. Burn a third... Oh, my gosh. Burning a third wood does nothing. Ah. Uh, dude, I'm about to lose my last Harpy. Freaking thing. Who's calling me? I don't know you. Go away. Ah. Uh, hmm. I don't know that there's anything I can do about this. I, I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. I, 
like, I don't want to burn ability at the beacon tower for one heartbeat. But at the same time, losing the last one is going to be painful. Blood flower has spawned close to the settlement. We'll start destroying food. Yay. Most of our wood is gone. We have a blood flower. However, it's going to destroy food, but we are going to get some stuff for destroying it, so that's nice. Uh, pull Harpy a field kitchen, crank up rainwater resolve. Uh, Harpy was in an herbalist camp. Get jerky for pie, gain skewers for pickled goods, gain three clay. Let's get the free clay. Alright, let's move these guys over to getting the sea marrow. Herbalist left. Blood flower is getting handled. Uh, I need more people. Harpies if possible. One, two, two, one, two, two. Both are the same. Let's get the group that comes with the coats. Alright, one harpy there. These guys are making porridge, which is liked by the humans. The other races don't really care. I kind of like to leave the people in the bathhouse because of the uh, global production's 25% faster bonus. Do we have any homeless? No, I do not have any homeless. Okay, what else can we do right now that might help? Which buildings can use drizzle water? The field kitchen can. for now. Uh, and then we're going to need a blight post. It's already almost time for another storm. That was pretty quick. Okay, so we just lost a worker because of the ancient pact. Getting a bit nervous, seal isn't open yet. Yeah, the seal is right over there. I'm working on it. Okay, so what's the bad thing? Let's see. We can sell that. Um, this is it. Fallen Lizard Hunters. Rob the dead, minus 12 to res lizard resolve while working on it. Uh, pay for a funeral. I do have the resin, but I need more amber. I don't think I even have anyone in the makeshift post right now. All right, that'll give us some amber. You could sell those, question, question, good to know. Uh, yes, Chad actually told me about that. 
Traitor arrived, Vliss. Just reading scrolls. 10% chance of reducing double yields. Um. Okay, hold on. Jerky. So clothes need is fulfilled right now. So buying clothes won't matter. Tea. Some of them like tea. I think that's the only thing I can do that might give them some happiness. So we'll buy a little bit of the tea and they can use that. Do I have any tools right now? I do. I could send this cash back. Once we get some amber, we'll do this. I've got eight minutes. I want to turn off services to the TLs. Do you need the resolve boost? Uh, it doesn't give a resolve boost. Hang on. 20 tools, 18 pipes. Five oil per minute, plus one tools production, 30 points. Hold on. 20 tools. What was I about to do? It's 15. Wait, did I have it? Hold on. Cancel. I don't even think I had 15 tools. Um, I don't have tool production right now, so I can't do that. Deliver 20 T, have 22 harpies. None of that's really possible right now. Bathhouse, yeah, the bathhouse, it gives a 25% more global production speed and villagers leaving will wait 30% longer before they leave. Want, might want to s disable building material stacks to focus on building specific housing. Um. Hmm. Might be worth. Uh. Void of meant turning off the bathhouse using the tea until you need the resolve boost, but it's close enough to the storm now. Yeah, the storm, the big storm is about to start, so I wanted them to use it. I gotcha. Oh, does do you have coal? No. No. Hold on, and what did I need for this bad thing? 15 amber. And what am I about to get? I'm about to get four. Which is going to put me at a total of seven. And I'll need eight more. Give up a few gears. No, I'm not doing that. I'll do that. I'll get more dew from over here. I could turn in this quest immediately, but I need the amber for that emergency over there. Harpy Resolve just shot way up because of the T. Plague of Fishman. Fishman will summon one dangerous or forbidden glade event near the ancient hearth. A giant stormbird's nest appeared in the settlement. <laughs> Disturbing the stormbird's nest will instantly summon a storm. Which will continue until your scouts have finished working on the event. Active only when the corresponding glade event is being worked on, but canceling the work will not stop the storm. 
What if we're already in a storm? Villages give minus four to resolve for each hostility level. Is active only while the event's being worked on. I mean, should I just do it now? We're already in a storm. Or we can feed it. Which takes a mountain of food. Gives infinite eggs if you tame it. Dude, I have never had this event. So if I start it now, like I'm already, at, it's gonna be a storm for five minutes. God, I wish I had foxes for this. How much porridge do I have right now? 24. Burn marrow to make it go faster. Alright, as soon as I see the timer move it. Dude, minus 32 resolve. Okay, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Um <laughs> Alright, this is minus 100 hostility. This is Alright, now it's minus 22. All right, so we use the miracle. Okay, they've started on it. So, one, two, three. Burn three marrow per second. To make this go as fast as possible. God, this is, because we've basically got two overlapping storms right now. Do I need to do two things? All trade routes, 100% faster duration of the storm. Villagers with low resolve leave the town 50% slower. I could do, I've got one last song of hope if I need it. Guys, look at me, I'm so curvy! We could start pay for funeral now. How much marrow do we have? 17 left. Oh my god! Alright, we're out of marrow. Burning a coal. 40 seconds remaining. Alright, the storm is ready to end as soon as the bird shuts up. Lizard, please! Lizard! Oh my god! <laughs> what an awful event! Five eggs per minute, plus three to Harpy's Resolve. Oh my god. Okay, I've never had this before. Lose 50 workers. We lost none workers! Shut up, we did not lose any workers. Protected trade is decent. Uh, global resolve boosted by five for 180 seconds every time a new glade's discovered, but woodcutting is slower until you open two glades. The settlement is known as a trading hub in the region. Gain one rep point every time you sell goods worth 60 amber while sowing reputation gain from resolve. I guess protected trade. All right. So I've got two people free right now. Oh, they were the cooks in the field kitchen, so I need to put one of them back. Uh, oh, I need more people. <laughs> now we just got this big freaking bird in the middle of the base, <laughs> just taking up space. Wait, can I move it? Oh, I can move the bird. All right, you uh, you're you're gonna you're gonna live back here. Move over there, bird. 
Alright, is this the one with the seal? Yeah, we gotta get to the seal. <laughs> like, really bad. Really gotta get to the seal. Six people, one Harvey, five lizards, or six people like this. Let's get that. put a harpy in the druid hut. What does sacrificing oil do? Global production speed increase. All right, I'll burn some of that right now because I need, I need to sacrifice some. A harpy died. Oh, it's because we just broke into the seal glade. Dude, this game does not want me to have any harpies. I'm back down to two. <laughs> it is, it has been like, kill the harpy, kill the harpy, kill the harpy. Just over and over and over. Dangerous glade event. What is this? I have the resin. Calm spirit. Don't I need to do empathy things? Or was that something else? Or I could do crops or caches. Install rain engines. All right, then we got we got to deal with this first. Uh, resolve drops five hundred percent faster for five minutes. Gets you crystallized too. What does this do? This is plus two to global resolve. We should do this. I need fifteen amber. Um. Game really wants the harpies dead. Yeah, it's like, get rid of these harpies. Alright. Kiln, please. Ah, I don't have tools. I don't currently have tools. Smithy. Smithy has tools and pack of trade goods. This has tools. Do I need pack of trade goods for any quest? We're not going to have 22 harpies. Uh, no, I don't have quest for pack of trade goods. All right, I guess we'll go tool shop. Supplier. This is a thick building. Uh... Pack of trade goods good for trading. Oh, no way. Uh, we've actually got corruption. We need the we need the blight post to get finished. Put another person there. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. Alright. Um, what do I need more? Clay or marrow? Mm. Probably marrow. Blood flower appear. Oh, why? Why did a blood flower appear nearby? Why are so uh, two blood flowers? Why? America, explain.
came from a plague? They're all disabled right now, and we're not in a storm. I, I mean, like, I'll get some stuff, I guess, but it's like, what? Plague from the seal? The seal did the seal did it? Okay. Uh alright, I need what is that? All these are from the post, right? So I need twelve of each of those. Alright, this hearth finally leveled up. Oh, can we make a second hearth? If I can find the space for it. Small herb camp has no deposits nearby. Alright. Get rid of that. Uh, what was the building that the harpies were good at? This one. Put them there. But all, both of my harpies. I'm getting so much resolve for my two happy harpies. I'd be wishing I had foxes, but blood flowers and all this stuff. Yeah. Are we gonna get the trader before the storm? It looks like we will. Fifteen amber for this. I have four. So I need eleven more. I like how eleven or amber is worth thirteen amber. Cheat. Mm. That would be all of that. Mm. Six gears. Let's just do that. Uh, give me something else to go with it, though. A couple planks. Alright, with that, we should be able to do this dangerous glade event before it gets really bad. Ah, uh, we have homeless. God dang it, I just realized. And do we have any blight rot sis? I've been waiting on this blight rot post to get built for years. Okay. Do you have any builders? Uh, not right this second, because I just put someone in a building. We've got a lot of people tied up dealing with these blood flowers. All right, so I can free one of them now. We had four people dealing with blood flowers. I can burn coal for one second. And we're out of coal. Plague of Blindness, 50% slower, 50% chance of destroying production. Awesome. Do you sell coal? No, he doesn't sell coal. Um, Amber Trade, I could do that now, but then I won't be able to do that thing.
I could burn wood, but it's not going to last the whole storm. I don't think I have another option. Burning three wood per second makes this sort of manageable for like 20 seconds. I think we're just gonna have to suffer losses. I don't, I don't know that I want to use my last uh, miracle right now. We're and that's it. We're out of most fuels. A lizard scout left. What was he working on? He was one of the ones working on the blood flower. Yo, if y'all don't start on this task soon, uh, it's going to fail. Like, it's it's going to hit us. And that would be really bad. Okay, there. Alright. Yikes. Yeah, I don't need a permanent minus five to all resolve. Okay, uh, four more pack of crops. Gain 30 meat every time a villager dies or leaves. Uh, production of metal stuff increased. Or boost global resolve for every three levels of standing with other settlements, which is zero right now. Might decline it just to be able to do amber trade. I'm going to do that. Kiln. Kiln! Alright, so let me check out a couple things. So we want... Like the meat to be used for jerky. So let's go to consumption, say don't eat raw meat. Y'all have so many eggs and stuff, you can enjoy that. Alright, more people. Need bodies. Um that's more bodies. Okay. Uh, we will want... We're going to need a lot of lumber to make coal. So just start chopping up here. And we were going to make another hearth over here. And we can just do a warehouse over here too. more homeless, so we need to deal with that also. Uh, do I have the supplier built yet? Yes, I do. Alright. Let's have you guys do this. And stop making planks here. All right, we can turn in the Purging Fire quest, which increases oil production. Pick a new building. Temple. Minus 25 hostility for every 200 units you sacrifice. Currently, it would be minus 75. Clan Hall is 100% more yield. Let's do Temple. A 
we'll put it over here near the future altar or hearth. All right, tool shop. Only use planks. Use crystallized do. I don't know that we need to worry about barrels. Let's not worry about barrels. Alright, get making tools. I love seeing some of these buildings get made. Uh, Bobby, what's the background story, by the way? Who's this annoying queen? Why the storms? Bobby, the story as I understand it is that the, um... Uh, the world is just such that it's just, there's just a super storm hitting the world constantly. Uh, or it's like, there's, there's a constant, like, storm, like what we're in right now. Like, there's drizzle season and bad season. That's it. It's always raining. But then every few years, there's a super storm that essentially wipes everything off the map. There's one city that has this big energy shield that has a queen, and everyone flees back to that city and takes cover during that storm. So afterward, then they go out and try to expand rapidly, gather resources and stuff like that. But the queen doesn't have any time for people who are bad at their job, you know? Like, this is a fight for survival. So she, that's why there's the, the queen's impatience is like, you know, that she basically pulls support and stops sending you people. And that's how you lose if the uh, queen's impatience fills up. Um, is kiln better than field? Kiln is better than field kitchen for this. However, I would rather them focus on coal. So we're going to do this. Also, we can do bricks better. So we're going to stop making bricks here. So this building will just do fabric from now on. We need way more lumber. With your double two-star sea marrow deposits, you're going to be able to keep burning sea marrow nonstop. Um, let me put another person over there. I didn't have it full. And we've got enough blight thing for the cis. Ancient seal done. Oh, thank you. All right, so turn in Heart of Amber. That's seal one. Reach standing level two with three settlements. Earn five rep from events. Six rep from resolve. Oh, God. Standing level two. So we need to do more trades. Like, a lot more trades. All right, that'll take care of not having enough homes. Dude, I honestly think we need another wood shop, or another uh, wood chopper. Um, send that to the Citadel. This is my first Twitch live stream I'm in. Hello, Undertale. Welcome. Plague of Fire. Fuel in the settlement's warehouses is disappearing at two units every 10 seconds. Awesome. Not really. Um. figure out how best to handle this. Bed and breakfast, 10 amber per trader, mushroom production. Every time you open or send a cash to the Citadel, hostility is lowered. Let's do bed and breakfast. All right, the cysts are getting handled. I 
think we are going to lose some people, probably. At least a harpy. Yep, harpy left. We lost one harpy. Ah, uh, blood flower has spawned. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Buck, my 15th coming up for your streams and checking our period has been progressing. <laughs> Still loading. Reinforced axes, faster wood cutting. All right, I need to build reputation level. I need to sacrifice oil 20 more times? Do I have some oil? I do. Do that. Um, just a farming tools. Oh, we can finally put someone here. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Let's take one from the tool shop. Put him here. I need a human in that. Let's put a human here so that she uh, slows down how fast the queen's getting mad. Burn blight rod cyst. We got a few of those. Uh, sacrifice oil. We're working on that now. We need the druid's hut to make more oil. they are working on right now. Is the oil getting used on anything else? <sighs> no, not at the moment. It's not. Okay. Maybe the blood flowers from the forest mysteries? No, it's this right here. Rotten rain. Blood flower spawns every 90 seconds. But the fact that two spawned back to back earlier was weird. I don't know what that was about. Uh, it's uh, unfortunate because the blood flowers uh, destroy your food. Forager's camp has no more deposits. All right, move that right there. Let's move the trader over here. If you got a robust food chain going, you can end up farming the blood flowers instead. Maybe. But right now, uh, they're draining my food all the way down to zero right now. It just, it's like every few seconds it just, just destroys two food in the settlement. Also, if I were going to farm blood flowers, I would want to have uh, foxes that handle it much more quickly. I really need this temple to finish getting built. Let's, let's raise the priority on it. do that just to fix the road. Alright, the flower has been dealt with. Um, food is still quite low, though. Need to burn more oil for that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Need 25 pack of crops for the agriculture quest. Need to keep doing more trades. Okay. 
More people? Odd time for more people. Storm's about to hit. Um, he's going with planks. Seven. That's nine. Building more housing. Uh, we will have assist. Let's see, let's turn that up even higher. Lizard's resolve. Why is lizard resolve low? Nothing bad's even happening yet. It's probably because of the food. Uh, the blood flowers took all the food away. Next trader's pretty far out. Um, there's a broodmother there, but I don't have a thing for that. Can make a trapper's camp. I should have done that earlier. The housing thing is fixed, but food is a problem. I don't need... Yeah, I've already got a tea house. Salvage that. And two more oil burned. I don't have any more. I'm out. Do another trade. Woodcutter's camp has nothing suitable nearby. We will fix that. We have a lot of coal right now. That's good. go. Alright, plus one to resin production. That's going. Ah, uh, man. This is difficult. Five rep points from events. It's tricky. I don't know if it would be easier. I'm going to keep working on the trade routes, but getting three more rep points from events is also an option, but that is tricky. Wondering if I should do another farm there. Hold on, let me look at the ones I've already got. Um, veggies are zeroed out, so those are all getting used. Herbs getting used. Chris do. We don't need another forester's hut. Okay, so I guess like just a basic farm could get some gains. Uh, the civilization needs some flamethrowers. We have them, actually. Uh, right here, purging flame. Occasionally, these things called cysts will uh, grow from corruption on buildings, and you have to burn them down. Uh, there, you sometimes will see uh, them run up to things and use flamethrowers, but it just depends on what's going on. All right, they're gonna start getting insects there. Plague of corrupted water. Using rainwater in rain engines generates blight rot cysts a hundred percent faster. That's fine. I actually need to destroy eighteen cysts for a quest. So, yeah, dude, let's do it. Uh, everything else I hate, though. Not sure what I can do about the other stuff. Plantation, berries, plant fiber. That might be okay. Skewers. Can I produce skewers? Yeah, actually, I should be able to. But it's a ma matter of manpower. I think I'll take the plantation instead. And then I will get rid of that so that I was about to build and put the plantation there. Alright. Uh... Burn coal, burn coal. Did the temple ever finish? Jesus, holy crap, we need this. 
This would be so helpful right now. Need the temple. And there's the problem. We're not able to make any fabric right now. We need one more fabric for the temple. What's a building that takes fabric? I, okay, I wish I would realized this earlier. I need to destroy a building that has some fabric in it and then move it over to finish the temple. That would have helped a lot. That would have helped a lot. <sighs> harpy houses. Yeah, I don't have any built harpy houses. I was about to, but I don't have any builds. I think the lizard house might take two. So now they should be able to build that, but it's still going to take a minute. Alright, yeah, so she is running around with the flamethrower fighting Sis somewhere. We're burning two coal per second, which is still pretty crazy. Okay. I'd rather have lizards here. Let's put humans there. Okay. That should be... That's minus 100 to the forest hostility right now. We're gonna lose one harpy. Harpy Builder left. Uh, let's see. This needs decorations. Alright, this quest finished. And farming tools, woodcutter song. For every 20 felled trees, global resolve increases by 3 for 120 seconds. That's cool. At the same time, this is probably the worst map for it because trees have more hit points on this map. <sighs> Boosts global resolve by 1 for every 3 levels of standing of other settlements. Um, expected gain 0. Or 50% more stuff from the farm. Let's go for this. It should help a little bit, but not a ton. Need for jerky and biscuits fulfilled. Does this mean all at once? Hey? Woodcutter's camp needs more trees. Um, yeah. Let's go here for the abandoned cache. Oh man, this this quest is awful. Level two standing with three people. Get five rep from events. Those are both pretty rough. Ancient shrine, medium cash, hidden trader, cemetery, large encampment. Um Withered Tree? I think you can just chop it down or something. Alright. We're gonna lose a person to ancient pact when we when we break in there. Uh, all right, start. Send that to the citadel. We're chasing events right now as best as we can. Uh, where's another human? All right, get that online. Is this a smaller? This is cloth. Okay, it's cloth again. Okay, a uh, harpy woodcutter died because of the ancient pact. Okay, withered tree. Um, 
All right, so we need to gain a rep point. So let's do this. Cleanse the tree with flamethrowers. With flamethrowers, Bobby. All right, so that's that. Woodcutter's camp has no suitable trees. Uh, what? Bull crab? Yes, it does. Wait, is it that one? Is that the problem? Drizzle? Do I want another drizzle? No, we've got infinite drizzle water right now. That's not a problem. However, we are not spawning blight rot cysts fast enough if we care about that. I don't know if we care about that. Let's For now, no, let's not worry about it right now. Let's just go over here. Okay, that's done. Okay. Uh, I need to keep doing trades just in case it uh, ends up coming back to that. And... Let's do that. And... What next? Zorg. Do you sell anything helpful? Harvesting is faster. Buildings have more storage. Um, global food production increased by 20%. Gain three instants for every 10 roots. All right, let's take the global production. Harvesting is faster. The biscuits. Don't know that anything else here really helps. All right, we're gonna buy the biscuits and we still have enough for the free incense. I'll take that. Fabric from Trader. Oh, did the Trader have fabric? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's do... You're right, hey. You're right. We'll trade herbs for fabric. Get us uh, ahead of that problem for a little bit. Alright, tools. Let's get this. Saved, yeah. Look at the resolve right now. Look at everybody is so freaking happy to be in this hellscape. Like right now. Bakery, leatherworker grill or furnace. I don't know that any of this is hugely helpful. Bakery, I guess. to make the fabric. Oh wow, that small warehouse took a long time to get built. Because, e you know what I'm kind of tempted to do, you guys? Hold on a sec. Because each small warehouse currently gives me a hauling cart, which is basically a worker that doesn't sleep. Why don't I just make a bunch of extra warehouses and then when I need to relocate them, I just sell them? I don't see anything wrong with that idea. Two out of five rep points. That's still going. That'll be three. That'll be 3.5. Uh... One there. We need more events. Small cash. Withered tree. We could go for that one. Withered tree is the same as this one, and we know we have the materials to deal with that. So we will put this up here. Didn't I have a third lumber camp, or did I sell it? Oh, this is it right here. Uh, what is this building? That's the bakery. 
Um, okay, so at the field kitchen, disable biscuits. Bakery. Where's some lizards? Let's go to the bathhouse and put a harpy there. Go to the baker. I'm trying, I'm trying to click on the bakery. Put a lizard here. And he can start making biscuits. And pies. I need a builder or two free. Who's doing something that's not essential right now? Forester's Hut. We've got... Mm, no, I don't really want to. I've already got down to two in that. Maybe the post? Let's take one of the people out of there for now. Alright. Uh, let's do that. Brass Hill or Fox Den? Not really great thing with either of those. Coming up on the next storm. withered tree finish. That finished. So now we've got four out of five rep points for Blood of the Stag. Plague of Rats. Any cooked or raw food in the settlement's warehouses disappear at two per ten. Oh, it's basically a blood flower that's gonna last the whole storm or something. Rip. Alright, Resolve is starting to tank. gonna be a long one. There's not a lot I could do here. Bobby says eat the rats. <laughs> I mean they're willing to eat insects. If you're willing to eat uh, you know, cooked roaches you know, I feel like you should be willing to eat cooked rats. Who's the, uh, where, who is the scruffy handsome man and where is Mark? <laughs> What's up Lance? Song of Haste, slow reduction. All right, so I could do the villagers with low resolve leave 50% slower. Uh, burning coal right now to see if that helps. Market, tavern, clan hall, smelter. Let's see, market is you can carry more. Tavern is plus three to global resolve. Clan hall is more yield. We'll do tavern. We'll have to load it up after. Actually, hold on. Uh, where was it? I think we're going to lose people on this one. Let's see. We're, we're burning coal at a very high rate. It is just tanking at the moment. And outside of the storm, we've been just burning sea marrow, so, like, I've been saving up for this. Favor the harpies to slow it down? Ah, oh, there's a chance. Ah, we lost one. We lost one harpy. Blood flower spawned in the settlement. Great. Yo, this blood flower gives permanent plus one to meat production. That's actually kind of interesting. Okay, break in here, and I know that's going to kill someone when we break into the glade. Pick a new thing. Grain production increases over time. I'll take that. Alright. Uh, here is another one of those evil plants. And we need more people. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven. All right, let's get the nine. We're going through people at a scary rate. All right, cleanse that. That should also finish Blood of the Stag. A harpy woodcutter died. What? 
Oh, that was from opening the glade. That was from opening the glade. I knew that was going to happen. I just... I forgot for a second what I knew. Alright, putting another small warehouse here. Um... Is the blood flower getting handled? Yes, it is. Are we still ahead of Sis? Yes, we are. Uh, do I have any reputation things to turn in? No, I don't. Um, do more trades. Don't sell the insects. We're low on food. Don't sell that. We can sell these. Okay. Is that the same alert? Yes, that's the same alert. Uh, we've got some people that don't have homes. Um, let's do a few lizard houses. I'm trying to remember, because I did the last two seals I did, I had the same problem, where I completed the first seal really fast. I think the third one was really quick. The third one, I think there's a, a just turn in a pile of amber. Uh, the second one, I, I've gotten hung up on every time. It, it takes up so much time. I need to better prepare for that in the future if it's the same options each time. Uh, I don't know how much amber I have. I've got 78, okay. Dude, we're at eight hostility. Oh my god. Why is coal going down? Hang on. Coal shouldn't be getting used right now by anything. We're, t we're making coal. That's using marrow. That should be using marrow. We'll change that. That should be using marrow. I actually don't see that anything was using coal. Is it just getting passively burned? Wait, maybe the second hearth? No, they're both they're both burning marrow. We can level up this hearth while I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Two, three, four. Um one, two, three, four. Is there an upkeep on coal for the town? No. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. Oh, we just ran out of the, the marrow deposit. Oh, well, that's gone. Um, There's a little bit of marrow up here. Maybe some sneaky recipe? I mean, that's what I was just checking, right? I mean, Kiln is making coal, but that's a... Trader Old Farloff. I'm hesitant to throw any money around because I think we're about to need it for the next thing. Advanced Rain Collector and Smithy. Need for treatment fulfilled. Um, I need a building that makes tea. Can, does Farloff sell tea? No. I might need to keep an eye out for tea. Need for jerky fulfilled. How do we not have jerky? Kiln can make jerky. Where's the kiln? Alright, add that to what they're allowed to do. Okay. Blood of the Stag is done. I've never finished this using Blood of the Stag before. Okay. Yep, as I thought, there is a just give up some amber and you can instantly finish this one. Alright. Alright, this is the last thing. If I complete this task, I win this map. Alright? For, for those who are unfamiliar with the game, on a normal map, it's you fill the blue bar, you win. On this map, it's you have to do finish the seal. And, uh, but if the red bar finishes up, you lose. 
so six six tablets. Delivering six tablets. Um, complete two forbidden glades with less than ten minutes gap in between them. Keep human resolve above 45 for 300 seconds. I don't think I can pull that off. Lizard above 35, Harpy above 35. Um, rainwater one, we're partially toward because of we've been using rainwater for a while, but we would need way more cysts. So what we're going to do, is there any other buildings that can use the green water? The bakery can. All right, we're going to forcibly make a bunch of corruption in our base in order to... What does it take to make oil again? In order to spawn more cysts. It's just like... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, maybe don't use meat on that. All right. However, in the meantime... Or there was another geyser, wasn't there? Didn't I have another geyser unlocked? Or am I thinking of something else? I can do a harvester's camp right here. Um, maybe I did not. I would like to... I'm going to try for the rainwater thing, but then do, if I can... Can we do the Forbidden Glade thing at the same time, and then just whichever one finishes first? Two Forbidden Glades... Back to back. All right, so there's one here. So I would have to chop through here. And then that one is quite a distance. This one? Might be those two. All right, let's make some preparation here. All right, so also, yeah, okay. Alright, doubled our drizzle water income, and we've also doubled how fast we're burning it uh, for the rainwater and engines thing, and try to spawn more cysts on purpose. Small forager's camp has no deposits nearby. Um, there is more down here. Move down there. Now, one thing that's kind of concerning is, like, when you complete an event, it takes a red pip and moves it to a blue pip. If your blue bar's full, completing events no longer drains the red. I found that out the hard way a while back. So, if we get to the point where um, there is no more, uh, like, the blue bar's full, I cannot, like, drain the red anymore to stall for time. It will not be possible. And so I want to make sure I've actually got a human firekeeper here. Impatience grows 25% uh, more slowly. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, cool. This is counting for four of these. Uh, or maybe nine of these. All right, so eight more green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four more of these. One, two, three, four. And then four more people living in this area. Uh, oh, the ta oh, the tavern needs three people. Hold on a second. The tavern gives everyone um, on the map uh, plus three happiness. Because they like, uh, you know, getting drunk. <laughs> They're luscious. There we go. Plus three to all. Okay. So it's a walrus guarding the seal. I don't know what the deal is with the walrus. <laughs> Plague of Death. Discover two dangerous or forbidden glades during this storm. If you don't, three people will die. Well, you know, I was gonna try to anyway, you piece of crap, but I, <laughs> now you're putting the pressure on me. All right, now I don't know if I'll be able to do it in time. 
All right, I will try. Oh, yeah, it's kind of funny how that worked out, isn't it? Um, global production, trade routes are faster. Three routes per minute. Yeah, we'll take the three routes per minute. Wasn't there something about trades being bad during the storm? Woodcutters chop faster, but don't. But they will destroy the wood. You won't get the wood. Recipes produce more slowly. Food production is slowed. Food. Wait, food production is slowed by 15% per hostility. We're at hostility nine. Does that mean that food production is zero right now? <laughs> it's just literally zero. If the next trader sells a bunch of complex foods, you might be able to buy all those for the seal. That's not a bad idea. I'll try that. Because uh, I've got uh, the possibility of trying for, like, you know, multiple avenues of success right now. Burning two coal. And trying to break into these glades for multiple reasons. Okay, we just broke into one of them. Let's move this wood camp over here. A harpy bathhouse worker has died. That's not good, because we need that buff on the map right now. Quick! Reinforce the baths! Is that the same? That's the same one. All right, a blood flower. Oh my god, another blood flower. All right, we'll address the blood flower after the storm is over. Ah, uh, they didn't get there in time. They didn't break through in time. Trapper's camp has no nearby deposits. Rip. Uh, so we we just lost uh, two people that left during the storm, and then three people died because I was seconds away from breaking into a glade during the storm. All right, need to handle... Hold on, I need to read this. A human farmer died. Makeshift post, replace that one with a lizard, and move the human here. Okay. I need to read this. Um, deliver six tablets. Complete two forbidden glade events. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you complete them, you just gotta complete them. So what do we got? We got Hungry Mistworm. Um, cooked and raw food in the warehouse. <laughs> Everything's eating the food! <laughs> Cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing six items every ten seconds while you chase this away. Six items every ten seconds, and it takes five minutes. Yeah, that's gonna literally destroy all the food. Heavy fog. Um, dangerous and forbidden glade warnings disabled while working on this event. Uh, I do not have enough stuff for this. Do I have a trader here at the moment? No. Did I handle the blood flower? No. And that's going to destroy food too. <sighs> All right. Um, you two handle the blood flower. Okay, wait, where was the worm? All right, I can use tools and know that I'm going to lose a bunch of food and chase it away. I can do that. This gives five tablets. I need six tablets, uh, and I already have two. So if I'm going, uh, this would help me. All right, what is this? Ugh. Fishman transform the sacred fire into a cold flame that increases hostility by 150 per hearth in the settlement while being worked on. We're going to have to manage... Deal with that now. Bloodflower is getting addressed. Um, pick a thing. Bakery production's faster. Bread peels. Oh boy. Um, this is really far away. I'm concerned about the running time. All right. 
One thing I really hate is when I hit start, it will immediately start the negative thing. Even though we don't have, like, the people there yet. <laughs> Alright, they should be able to grab the stuff from... Actually, they can go from the warehouse. That's not too bad. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm actually a little hopeful right now. Uh, close. I'm a little hopeful right now. Some lizard houses. Stonecutter's camp has nothing nearby. Um... Just put it right there. Harpies are like consumables in this game. <laughs> They're consumables! <laughs> Bob, snap into a harpy. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> Look at our food. The worm and the blood flower are just tearing into our food supply. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. I'm so dumb. Uh, hold on. We can burn... What is it? When you sacrifice sea marrow, glade events are handled more quickly. That will save a lot of possible food. Like, a lot of potential food. All right, the worm is done. The Fishman Lighthouse is going. There's the timer, because we've done... Oh, it's 20 minutes, not 10. Math. Oh my god. Okay, all right. We've done two. Now we need the tablets, which are here, and they've got to unload them. So that's going to take a few moments for them to unload the tablets. I wonder how many eggs my people ate from this tame storm bird. <laughs> I bet we ate a lot of eggs. I do not know how many, but I bet it was a lot. Let's build a way let's try to build warehouses to, to uh, speed this up if we can. We had every type of farm. That was extremely helpful. Forester's hut, herb garden, a small farm, and a plantation. We had all of those. Uh, Sir Renwald Redmayne. Um, we already have porridge. Buying that, there's no point. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, I just bought some more happiness stuff for them. Look, every, look, everybody's in the blue now. Everybody's in the blue. 27th month. Are you interested in Paul World? Paul World. <laughs> Where you make Pauls fight against other Pauls to find the strongest Paul. Oh my god, what just happened? Uh, am I interested in Paul World? Uh, I'm really not. I'm keep keeping an eye on it. Um, I have opinions on it. Uh, but I, I'm, I look at it and I'm not super interested in playing it. But a welcome back, and thank you for the resub. What happened? Plague of Locusts. Destroy six random resource nodes. Oh my god. Folks gotta eat. Done, done need for jerky. Done need for jerky. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, again, the red pip is not gonna go down. Yeah, the red pip won't go down if the blue's full. God, get the tablets! Get the tablets! They're like, oh, porridge. We can literally win right now. Get the goddamn tablets! 
Do they just go left to right? I hate you guys so much. They're gonna get him last. Wait, they just went on break! Oh my god! <laughs> they literally just went on break. Alright, we're almost done with this. Use the Song of Hope. Bro, they just need to pull? They just need to take this and move it there. And they're like, nah, man, we're, we're on our, our, union, uh, our union break. There. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Third seal, first try, while on Viceroy difficulty. Oh my god. Dude, Viceroy freaking keeps me out of my mind. <sighs> I cannot imagine doing Prestige yet. This is, this is still like very challenging. This is extremely challenging. Ah, uh, workshop makes planks, fabric, bricks, and pipes. Oh, it's a, oh, it's like a straight upgrade from the crude workshop. Okay, stamping mill, pottery, copper bars, flour, clearance, water, uh, alarm bells. The brass order's newest invention: an intricate system of sensors that detect corruption before it spreads too much. Workers have a 25% higher chance of producing double yield when the hearth's expected corruption rate is 150% or higher. Old Fedora Hat. An old inscription on the bottom of the hat says, Fortune and Glory. Increase the chance of doubling event loot by 50%. Doesn't apply to perks and blueprints. Firekeeper's Armor. Allows firekeepers to combat corruption more efficiently. Every burn cyst removes an additional 50 corruption. I've never had corruption be an issue. The Crown sends two royal guards to your village. Instead of simply brawling, villagers will now train under them. Fulfilling the need for brawling grants an additional five resolve, but attacking a traitor results in you getting two extra impatience points. <laughs> I have never attacked a traitor. I still don't know what happens when you do that. I'm guessing impatience, but you get loot or something. Plus five resolve. Okay. Cycle of the Wilds. Discover 20 dangerous glades in one cycle. Uh, you know, part of that was, is I did a map with a modifier that every single glade was a forbidden glade. Silver Seal reforged the Silver Seal. Back to world map. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Dude, that was, that was over two hours. All right, that's it. So we managed to get to the third seal, and we closed it. The Blightstorm's almost here. No further expeditions can embark during this cycle. Select the compass icon to finish the cycle. All right. Cycle rewards. Closing the silver seal gets you all of this stuff, and having extra seal fragments gets you this stuff. Uh, end the cycle. So here comes the Superstorm. And everybody's hiding in the babble. The queen is Queen Jenna, by the way. <laughs> She's just putting up the big dome over Divinity's Reach. <sighs> Alright, so, world just got mucked. So purple seal, oh, there we go. Gold seal is next. Woo! Dude, what? what? 35 seal fragments, oh my god. Alright, hats off to Mug doing that advice for her. Thank you, I'm very proud of that. It was, it was, uh, it was fun, it's challenging. Uh, I, I honestly... I feel like, at this point, Veteran is easy for me. Viceroy, though, is sometimes overwhelming. I, I, I've i had one time I did Viceroy and it was like an easy win. Like, we had like one red pip and ten blue. But then all the other times have been like, Ugh. Uh, don't forget you have longer to get them because the cycle's longer. True. Alright, Reforge the Silver Seal. Veteran Shoulder Guard. Okay. Uh, discover 20 dangerous glades in one cycle, uh, unlocks the night fern. It's a cosmetic thing. Alright, um... Alright, upgrades. Upgrades, people, upgrades. So we got a new level. What is the stuff up here to look forward to? Can start with an herb garden. Can start with a forager's camp. Um, greater embarkation range. New embarkation bonus parts. 
Uh, can start with pack provisions. I just noticed the frog has a golden tooth. I've never noticed that before. What's the max level? 80. Wow, we're almost at the top of the tree. Alright, um... See more of the world map at the beginning of the cycle and can venture further. I'm gonna get that. Plus one cornerstone reroll. What's the stuff down here so we can work our way up? Gain a permanent 10% discount on perks and blueprints. Let's start with planks. Beaver's starting ability. This isn't great, but it's better than not having it, so I'll take that. There you are, just in time. Aunt Lori's face lights up with a welcoming smile. I gotta say, this part of the game, where you go in here and you do, like, the dating simulator, it's... it feels like a different game. Like, just this part feels like it like almost doesn't belong. It's so odd compared to everything else that this game is about in gameplay. There's my new shoulder guard. Just in time. I heard you reforged another seal. How was it? Ah, uh, it was tough. She's silent for a moment, nodding. And it's only going to get harder. Oh! But from what I see, you're doing well. You can always invest a little more in the Citadel's ongoing construction projects. This will likely earn you additional support from the Crown. Let me ask you this. Have you ever wondered why there are different types of seals? What their names mean? Tell me. The ancients were masters of metallurgy. They forged tools and constructed architectural marvels with such efficiency that it seemed they could manipulate the very states of matter at will. We can barely create the crystallized dew cons consistently, while copper smelting continues to pose a substantial logistical challenge for us all. But the ancients, they knew something we don't. A way to harness the extraordinary properties of rain to create the most durable alloys. Maybe someday we'll catch up to them, but for now we'll have to deal with the threat they left us. She lets out an amused sigh. But enough of that, let's focus on the issue at hand instead. It appears you're finally ready to take on the gold seal. It'll be a tough one, but I'm sure you can handle it. Uh, let's see. This was added super late in the dev cycle, mostly for some lore and if you want tips. That's fair. I still stand by my statement that the way that it is, you know, it just seems so starkly different from the rest, right? All right, chat. I am going to blow my nose because I'm tired of sniffling in your ear, and I am going to uh, get a drink. I will be right back before we start the next one. Okay, all right, so, whew, what have we got? There's a gold seal over here, and a gold seal over here. Now, what's on the way there? Forsaken God's Temple, and Overgrown Library. So, Forsaken and Overgrown. So, search Forsaken. We've not done that one. Overgrown. 
We've also not done that one. Either one of those will, uh, will give us a big bonus. So Overgrown Library. One of your starting blueprint choices is replaced by a wild card. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. Ooh! Alright. Um, well, I mean, that sounds freaking awesome. Let's go Overgrown Library. Alright, what are the things in this area? Um... Let's see. Average amount of soil. Uh, diverse flora, so the trees give weird resources. Inspiring pressure. Have a 3%... Let's see. Uh, oh, as hostility goes up, you have a higher chance of making more goods. Trees can give all kinds of weird stuff. Natural resources. Okay. Honestly, pretty good map. <sighs> okay. Um... Since there's guaranteed fields, I would love to start with humans, but that's not an option. So we can start with either these seven or these eight. I do have the perk for the foxes that they will automatically un show you where the nearest geyser is. So I'll go with them. Um, Coral Forest is my least favorite map. The trees get like eight things, so it's hard to get enough wood, I feel like. Well, don't you always get wood plus right chance of something else? Um, I could be wrong. All right, small, let's start with small farm and more people and then some food to get things rolling. But one thing, I, I don't know, is like, is one vegetable, like does one vegetable give, keep them fed for as long as one egg? The reason I kind of doubt that is the, it's not equal. 36 veggies or 24 eggs. If they were equal, I assume it would be the same numbers. I'm not sure why that. Uh, did I miss something? I beat seal number three on Viceroy difficulty. And we're now starting the next year's expedition. Marrow growth. Gain five sea marrow for every five coal produced during drizzle. Looming darkness uh, during storms is minus four to resolve. Resolve drops twice as fast. Um... Villagers minus uh, to resolve and it stacks. Pay five oil with each storm multiplied by the number of years played. If you don't, two random resource nodes will be sub destroyed. So I have to keep a stockpile of oil? Uh, villagers have a higher chance of consuming twice the amount of food on each break during storm. Not prestige one. No, not prestige one. Not prestige one. Hey, look, I'm pretty proud of how I did. But no, I'm not ready to do Prestige 1 yet. Alright, so there's the nearest geyser. Alright, so we were talking about the trees. Let's look at a tree. Yeah, look, it's wood and then plus fiber. This is wood plus stone and incense. This is wood plus... Yes, you always get the wood. It's just that you get other weird bonus stuff too. Always the wood. Oh! Alright, let's make a couple of those. Uh, and let's make this. And let's do a path. And a path. Oh, we gotta get our recipes. Oh boy, wild card. Uh, I'm thinking kiln, you guys. I'm thinking kiln. Get that, uh, get that coal. I cannot think of a building that is, that gives me as big of a, like, you know, good start in the early game as the kiln. Carpenter is good. I know Carpenter's wood planks. What else is it? Planks and tools. Yeah, that is good. I don't think it's kiln. <laughs> I'm gonna take the kiln. All right, two more. Lumber mill. I'll get the mill. All right, I will be making a farm. I could get a ranch and use my future grain in order to make meat. I'll do that. All right, speed it up. What does the farm say? All right. Okay. 
away and let's start making all the things. Pick a bonus. Game, plus one forge production for every 150 units of drizzle water. Hearth is more resistant to corruption. Gain reed and clay for each discovered glade. Let's go for this because I like how it scales. I like things that get stronger over time. Uh, you can also hold off on picking blueprints so you open your first large glade. Mm, kind of scared of opening a large glade early. But I guess I could. Do any of these give... This is plant fiber. Is the red ones meat? No, the red ones incense. The weird tentacle ones give meat. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which of these give uh, potential food. Dude, it's... Oh my gosh. It's like a breath of fresh air having trees that fall quickly. Because the last map, the trees were just like so sturdy. It took forever to get knocked down. Alright, let's get a few things going here. Kiln. Uh, let's see. Lumber mill. Decor. Oh, wait, no. Not lumber mill. Not lumber mill. We need to get houses going. I haven't done that yet. Okay, got the kiln. All right, let's remove one of these and put him here. And we can make bricks here and disable it at the crude workstation. Uh, we can turn insects into jerky. It'll make it last longer. Alright, so let's tell them to stop eating insects. And we'll do that. Seeing the houses come up. Uh, trading post. We'll go ahead and get that up and running. We'll just put it over there in the corner. New look. What's up, Pand? Yeah, trying something new. Still, still uh, working on it. Looking good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fox resolve down to minus one. All right. It takes two wood to make one coal. And if you are burning coal, it is like almost four times the value of wood. So we are going to prioritize that. Cutter's camp has no suitable trees, so we can fix that easily. I think the storm will end before resolve is a problem. Foxes are so delicate when it comes to resolve. <sighs> Alright, villagers have a 10% chance of producing double yields, but consumption control is disabled. Nope. Every neighboring town offers two more trade routes, but no trader arrives in your settlement until you complete five trade routes. Traders currently staying at the settlement leave immediately. Or global production speed is 33% faster, but traders arrive more slowly. I think I'll take the global production speed. You get a lot more from your own production than you do from the traders. Um, harpy and a lizard. Or harpy and a fox. I'll take harpy and a lizard. 
I'll put the lizard here because he has a better better income from that. And then for now, we'll put the harpy as the fire keeper, and everyone will be able to carry twice as much. Harpy the lizard walking into the settlement. No. Yeah. Trader arrived, old Farloff. Don't think I can do anything there. All right, let's look at our early quest. Uh, keep Harpy's resolve above 13 for 30 seconds. I could do that just by favoring them. Complete six trade routes. I'll just do the Harpy thing. Uh, complete any two Glade events. Or build a fire. All right, this is nice because it plus one to grain production. So I'll go for that. Trading post and deliver 10 amber. We're halfway toward that already. Ooh, have at least one hearth upgraded to level encampment level one. So this is a timed one. However, it's literally going to become encampment level one as soon as this shelter finishes. So that is doable. But... I don't think the reward's that great. I think I'd rather have a permanent plus one oil production. Over the course of the game, that could be hundreds of oil. So I'm going to do Deliver Purging Flame. All right. Favor the Harpies for a short time. Skewers and a Lizard House. Deliver oil. Deliver flour. Um... Try the skewers. Luxury goods I can't make. Have at least 10 harpies for 30 seconds. We only have one. Keep the resolve above 22 for a few minutes. Let's go for the flower production one. Alright. Uh, lizards are really unhappy right now. I need to turn this harpy thing off as soon as possible. Alright, there we go. And then turn that off. All right, reputation bonus. Uh, carpenter is tools production. Forester's hut would be crystalline, crystallized dew. We'll go carpenter now. Let's see. Let's put another one of these in the kiln. I mean, not in the kiln. We're not going to cook the guy, but, you know. <laughs> you know what you did! Ah! Make a carpenter. Going to lurk for some time later. See you, Bobby. It's funny, this game is actually quite different from what I thought it was when I first got it, and um, after trying it, I still love it. Like, this is not what I thought I was getting into, but it's still a lot of fun. I think, I'm trying to think of a game that's the closest to this that I've ever played. Like, maybe Frostpunk? What do you guys think? Uh, Oxygen Not Included? Trying to think of similar titles. It's certainly not the same as anything I've ever played, but there's similarities. Oh, there's someone actually sitting on the. I've never seen anyone. Oh no, she's just standing there. I thought she was sitting on the bench. All right, never mind. All right, small farm. Stop making planks here. Uh, 
Uh, these planks for that. Don't make that right now. Fox and Lizard resolve low. Temporarily put a lizard in here to increase the resolve. And burn one wood. Harvester's camp has nothing nearby. Uh, that's okay. We can just move it over there. And stop burning the extra fuel. Made it. Put a harpy back there and put a lizard back in there. Alright, we can start with the farm. Make a new thing. Three grain per minute, plus stone production, or more wood cutting. 35% faster wood cutting, and we're getting a lot of weird supplies from trees. That might be better than the three grain per minute. I would normally go for that, but I think I'm going to go for the axes. Because of all these stuff that you get from the woods on this map. It's three people either way. Um, take the cloth, I guess. Put another farmer there. All right, have small farm. Working on vegetables and grain for the turn-in. Um, so what we need to do is go here and tell them don't eat vegetables. Uh, Oni sure isn't like this game. Well, I meant in the aspect that you're building and juggling a lot of different things that are going on. It feels similar. Like there's, there's not like true combat in Oni or this game, you know? It's just like events and stuff. I would say Frostpunk is probably a little closer to this, the way that there's like, you know, events happen and you gotta, you know, pick how you're gonna deal with those. But definitely not the same. Definitely not the same. Uh, let's see. Does this have enough people for the next level? Yes, it does. And... Let's do that. Trapper's camp has no more deposits. Okay, let's scrap it. And let's make an herb camp here. And we'll make a warehouse over here for now to reduce delivery time. I'm gonna try to get better at that. Okay, the hearth is leveled up. Alright, we got this now. Put a harpy here. Harpies do better in herbalist camps. Pick a job. Uh, make rain collectors and deliver water. That would be really easy. And also two copper production. Uh, or make 15 aesthetics. Also very easy, plus berry production. I don't have the ability to produce berries right now. I think that's plantation. So I'm going to take the rain collector. Is this the seal? We just finished... We just finished uh, the third seal on Viceroy. I was able to beat it. So this is the uh, the following... You know, our expedition just started for the following one, the gold seal. Um, have at least 10 harpies. Fulfill need for jerky. I think that would be easier to fulfill... Okay, so we need a rain collector. Foxes actually work really well in rain collectors, so that's kind of a win-win.
Gotta watch the Odyssey Mux butt clinching. <laughs> There's definitely some of that. Fortunately, we didn't have that evil tax collector. Can I rotate the building? Yeah. Does it cost anything? I know, hitting the, moving this building, it says it costs wood. I don't know if rotating it costs me anything. Don't use veggies right now. So don't use clip for that. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna make a ranch earlier, and that is. Now that we're growing, what is it called, grain, we can uh, fuel the ranch. Oh, whoa, we're about to lose foxes. Burn coal. It's so delicate. Okay. Um... Every three burnt blight rot cysts lowers hostility by 10. While the hearth is corrupted, you're unable to sacrifice resources. Gain two insects every time you cut down a tree during the storm. This is a wall of text. Newcomers arrive 15% quicker and bring 10% more goods for every one level of standing you have with other settlements on trade routes. And currently that's nothing. I'm gonna reroll. Like, I would pick this one, but none of these are that great. I'm gonna use my one reroll. Holly cards! Ha ha ha, I love the little robots. All right, put this guy here. Uh, let's do reeds, we got a lot of that. Can't do green for that? Oh yeah, we can do green for that, okay. Very careful to tell them, like to not tell them to do the veggies. Uh, Woodcutter's camp has no suitable trees, all right. Let the power of logistics flow through you, yeah. Do you remember playing Heroes of Might and Magic? Any, uh, there was a there was a thing called lo logistics. It was like how quickly the hero could move an army around. And any hero that didn't get that skill felt like they were crawling. Awful. <clears throat> Four people or five? I'm gonna take the five. All right, um, let's do Field Kitchen. Can't move that. Uh, let's move these, because I could have done that better. Trader arrives to Hilda. Um, hmm. Hmm. Alright, still working on the veggies and grain thing. Of course, grain is getting used for a lot of things. Um... Where is a light post? Let's make that. The advanced logistics thing with the water is getting filled up. That's good. You know what? Hold on a sec. What is all the stuff you're using grain right now? Makeshift post doesn't have anyone in it. The ranch and the field kitchen. And I don't have anyone working in the field kitchen at the moment. So let's actually stop working at the ranch right now. And until we've turned in this grain order. Once we've turned that in, we'll turn it back on. Uh, let's break into one of these glades. Harvester's camp has no more deposits. Okay. Let's uh, take that apart. Geyser. 
Worm tongue nest, all right. Uh, coal vein also, nice. Let's build a mine on that. For a $30 game, this is a lot of content replayability. I agree. All right, farm life, and that gives a bonus to grain production. Okay, now we'll put some people back in there. Uh, we are not getting planks fast enough. Let's put some more people, some more workers in there. Alright, pause. Pick a task. Uh, open or send caches is four caches complete 10 trade routes traders arrive faster deliver 70 amber and get a lot but you got to do it in six minutes and i got zero amber right now so it's not going to happen we'll go for the trade routes um we need more storm water during the storm for this water quest so i'm going to put a second guy in the water collector and we're gonna deal with everyone's happiness, so I need to, let's see, I'm gonna take this lizard and put him here for now, and then burn, one coal's not enough, two coal, I could also stop, oh wow, yeah, should I just stop chopping trees? No, that's not enough. Okay, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Okay. We are good. Alright, uh, let's put meat in here with coal. That's better than using a wood for that. Five, five wood is worth uh, two and a half coal, and this is just using one coal. Um, any kind of water can be used to make porridge. That is fine. Um, flour. We don't have access to flour yet. We don't have access to those, so we'll do that. And then we'll tell them don't eat raw meat unless people start to complain that they're hungry. And then let's take this guy back out and put her back there. And... Uh, wait a minute, hold on. Six meat makes one jerky. Here, eight meat and a... Wait, what? Oh, okay. They, they should not be making uh, jerky here. Take some more more stuff. They can make por uh, porridge there. That's fine. Uh, drizzle water. Okay, so I need... I don't need to use it. I can build this and then take it back apart in like a minute. Uh, but I need to make a second rain collector to turn in that quest. Wait. No! I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. They just used up the storm water I had saved. Okay. Let's fix that. Don't use storm water. Can I cancel what he's doing right now? Will that give me the water back? Uh, not sure. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, I just used that storm water I had just made in order to make, um, it, it made a porridge lol. Uh, let's do this. Get a new thing. Woodcutter song. Uh, chopping trees gives resolve. Firekeeper's armor. Travel rations. Uh, let's do the resolve thing. Pick a new building. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Um. Powered against the storm and shrouded. Uh, pretty fun HMO like game. 
Um, uh, this game has given me hundreds of hours of replayability. It's up there with like Slay the Spire in terms of longevity for me. 30 hours, I have a hard time believing that. I think I'm at 20 and working on the second seal and agreed. Uh, are we talking about like hours played? Uh, I'm currently at 41. According to Steam. And I'm, I just finished the third seal and I'm going toward the fourth. Stamping Mill can make flour. Provisioner can make flour. I think we go Stamping Mill here. Um... Couple lizard houses. I was saying thirty dollars games been more fun than uh, comes with seventy dollars games. Those are just examples. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right, more people. Um, let's get the bigger group. This has mined out. I think it's time we break into another blade. And let's put a warehouse down here to reduce travel time. Uh, herbalist camp. Don't know that I need to. I mean, is it cheaper to rebuild it than just make one myself? If I make one, it's... Oh, I can't read that. That 10 wood and 3 gears. If I repair it, it's 10... And you sa okay, so I save a gear. Alright, sure. We'll rebuild it. All right, just need the water from the next storm uh, to hopefully fix my mistake on the logistics thing, and then I can turn that in. All right, purging fire is done. We can turn that quest in. And that gives us two quests to do, or two things to turn in. Brickyard um, can make crystallized do. Alchemist hut can also make do, but also okay, so that's better than brickyard for me currently. Artisan that gives coats. Cooperage gives three things I don't have. I think I go for alchemist hut. I don't have any. Uh, like, way of making metal right now. Like, copper or the dew. Cooperage, cookhouse, beanery, smithy. Cooperage, I guess, with coats. Um, how many lizards? Okay, we've got all the lizards in nice houses. Uh, let's do a couple of harpies houses. This is taking a long time. Oh, uh, there we go. It's starting to fly now. Okay, and wait. Let's undo what I just did. Alright, got harpies in there. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? One guy working in there. And... Stamping mill. That's an advanced herb camp, by the way. Oh, is it? Um. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't say the word small on it. Yep, 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 yep. So I should not dismantle that. I should move it around when I'm done with it. Uh, resolve low. Okay, so we're getting the stormwater we need. 
Pick a new task. Blind, burn Blight Rot Sis, deliver Purging Fire. Trade goods, trade goods. Um, That'll be easier. All right. Stop chopping trees. Let's see what it looks like. Not quite in the positive, but nearly. Burn one coal. Add one resolve with a lizard keeper. Imagine being the other fire keeper and we're like, you, you're bad at your job, move. You, stand there. And the lizard walks up and everyone's like, yay, we're not, we're not dying anymore. The, the old fire keeper's just like, oh, come on, I wasn't that bad. Really? You guys are mean. We're getting lots of copper from the mine. Okay, we could turn this in now. Alright, sell the extra rain collector. Give them permission to do whatever for the porridge now. Small trapper's camp has no deposits. Dismantle that. Um, <laughs> I could get double hauling carts. Uh, alarm bells. I never really have issues with corruption. Exploration expedition. Global resolve boosted by five for three minutes every time a new glade's discovered, but wood cutting is slower until you open two glades. I'm playing it on the game on triple speed, so three minutes of global resolve is one minute of resolve. It's not gonna make each other. I'd rather get the hauling carts. That, that's gonna just gonna be a swarm of carps going around, like doing logistics. That's gonna be great. Um, let's make a geyser thingy. Oh no! Oh no! The tax person, the tax man's here, and she wants something I don't have. Consequence. I will eat up two of your nodes. You suck. Why why are you like this? Literally, why are you like this? <sighs> Thank God. None of this helps. Reroll. What does forum give? 15% chance of double yields. Explorer. Plus one to global resolve for every salvaged or rebuilt ruin. Which I have one right now. Explorers, I guess. Move that. It doesn't have to be nearby. Upcoming payment. Yo, I can't make fuel. I don't have the ability to make oil, so muck you. Auto pause for storm would save muck much headache. Yeah, I, I pause it on my own during storm. It's fun. How about auto kill the tax man? All right, robot for water. Let's take one person out of there. I don't think we need two in there anymore. All right, uh, stamping mill. Main thing is the flower. And copper ore and pottery. Okay, upcoming payment. I don't have oil! I don't care who you send, I'm not paying taxes. <laughs> if there was an attack option for the tax collector, yo, yeah, maybe. Uh, these guys bring some fuel, which we desperately need right now. Dude, how do I have, I have no fuel. Dude, that's really bad right now. How do I have 20 to, okay, hold on, we have 60 tools. All right, that's a problem. Set a limit on that. Y'all y'all need limits, you need to calm down. They're just making tools forever. Resource node destroy, broodmother. Great, oh, I didn't even realize this was over here. I wish I had realized this was over here. Then I'd be more sad about this. All right, break into another glade, small glade. Uh, 
I don't want to sell either of those. Isn't she there to collect stuff to quell DeForest's BS? I like to think of her as she comes in and is like, give me money, and I'm like, no, and then she sets fire to my buildings and like kidnaps people. Like, she is the villain. <laughs> so through the ancient. Do I need amber for anything? I do for the income tax quest. Wow, I have a lot of jerky. That's like half of that worth. Let's trade some jerky for some clothes. Make people happy for a bit. And trade a little bit of jerky for some education. Oh, we need more Harvey houses. War launch is done. So let's see. It's plus one to resolve for every rebuilt or salvaged ruin. Does this count as a ruin? As disassemble or fix. I don't know if that counts as a ruin. All right, homeless problem is fixed. Harpies are loving life. Ruins are just buildings. That's probably accurate. Give them some meat, send them to the Citadel, get some amber. Need to do more trade routes. Those are still the ones I don't like. Oh, I can destroy that little sign and get some plank school. Scouts are idle and small encampment. What? Do the thing! Woodcutter's camp has no trees nearby. Resolve is low. Two coal per second and stopping the wood choppers makes everything kind of calm. What do you still have your enshrouded link? I do not. I just had it that one day, my friend. I thank you for asking, though. I do appreciate you being willing to use it. But I just had it that one night. We are out of coal. Let's prioritize Cimero. Alright, let's... I think it's time to go for a big glade. Alright. Um, that. She wants 30 oil. Ah, I, don't, I can't! Hostility from woodcutters decrease. That's awesome. Um, I'll do that. Calm the spirits. Wow, I'm just short on the incense. Tear it down. Minus six resolve for every ten amber in your warehouse. Okay. Then you get some stuff. Alright, tear it down. We'll deal with the resolve for a little bit.
Watching that lizard's resolve up there. A little nervous about that. <sighs> what is she going to do? She's going to destroy two more nodes. Because I still can't make oil. Do you have a Steam or GOG affiliate link or some such? Uh, the closest thing I have is... Um, Mm, Nexus, right there. Uh, if you buy any games on that website, uh, it will give you a key and you can add it to your Steam account and it does support my stream at the same time. It does not have all games on there, but they are constantly trying to, you know, add all games to it. Uh, let's do that. But yeah, if you just want to, you know, bookmark that, uh, anytime you buy games, just check there first. That does help if you are interested. Small trapper's camp has no deposits. And that requires a large trapper's camp. Okay. Um, that's doing that. Is there anything harvesting this right now? No, there's not. Oh, man, 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 man. We need oil production because of the tax man. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, no, that's still busy. Okay, that's fine. You know what? No, I should not do this. Because I should just move this over once it's done where it is, because this is the better one. So, more trade routes, more harpies. Need for skewers fulfilled. Do I have skewers? No, I don't. Not yet. Pack of trade and luxury goods. Pack. Trade goods is made at the lumber mill. I can make it with that. I, have, oh, I haven't built the lumber mill. Okay. That's a problem. And then what was the other one? Luxury goods? Carpenter can make it. And I need 20. It's going to take a while. Lizard. Oh boy. Hold on. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, that's done. All right. Yikes. And she just destroyed a reed field and a stone deposit. Let's see, harvesters can't. Hey. Thank you. Um, I already have a drink. Like, is there a bit of salt? Is that okay? You looking at me funny? I'm just saying. Uh, Harvester's Camp has no more deposits nearby. Because it destroyed it! Because the tax man. Thank you. Alright. Uh, let's see. Alright, Pack of Luxury Goods is done. Oh, I had two quests for that, actually. That increases flower production. All right, we can get more people. What's for lunch? Um, oh man, it's... My wife made something similar to baked ziti, but instead of using ground beef, she used uh, sausage. And she made this last night, and this is leftovers from that. So it's like, uh, like pasta noodles, cheese, sausage, some tomato sauce, and a few other things in it. And this is leftovers from that. Uh, I have zero leather. We'll take that hurt. Let's see. 
Do I? Oh, I still need to make an alchemist hut. Yikes, I should have done this already. Now I want pasta? <laughs> you should, it's good. It's all hard. Uh, I still cannot quite make a hearth. All right, we need to keep chopping in that direction. Pretty sure I can remove that guy from there. I don't think it's necessary for him to be in there. Alchemist Hut can make crystallized dew. Also make tea. Uh, is Alchemist Hut better than Cooperage? Yeah. Have I made the Cooperage? No. Okay. Let's do like that. And we can make wine. Just cap it at like 10. Alright, let's put Sorry. two in there. And what else we got? We just finished this. Is this better than the lumber mill? The lumber mill is best for making planks. So stop making them here. And it can also make pack of trade goods. How many did I need? 25 for that quest. Um, not too worried about the scrolls, I don't think. Okay, get that going. All right, housing. Herbalist camp has no more deposits nearby. Okay, move that. All right, housing. Um, do that crystallized. Oh wait, we actually have a bunch of crystallized dew. I forgot. I'm getting some from the trees randomly. I was sitting here thinking like, oh yeah, I, st I still don't have any of that. I can't make any of that. I can make some. Oh, hold on. All right, taking a bite. One bite for muck, one bite for chat. Oh yeah, I'm in wine. I'm gonna upload it to you. Actually, wait a minute. Um, can I bake another hearth now? Ah, it's close. It's close. Um, let's do that. All right, if I stop wood chopping, not enough. Okay. Lizard, not enough. Burn coal. Burn two coal. Might be enough. Um. Oh, we need. Okay, we need the oil for the uh, the tax man. Butcher can make oil. Does any of this stuff affect trades? No. Um, butcher. Is butcher better than kiln for jerky? Yes, it is. So, where is the kiln? You stop making jerky. Butcher, do this. Skewers. Hold on a sec. Five meat makes ten jerky. Three. Okay, so it's it's better to use the jerky to make the skewers. And then the oil with anything. How much? Thirty-five. 
uh, and then pay it as soon as it's possible. Let's make sure nothing else is set to use the oil, although I don't think we're going to get it done in time. It's not going to use. All right, uh, we'll set it to a high priority and see what happens. Oh, this is gonna be close. Hey, you muck. All right. Just we'll watched your enshrouded oh. stream VOD on YouTube. Got any own comparisons on pros and cons when comparing the game to say Valheim or Grounded? Hello, Bren. Thank you for the resub. Um, oh man. So in terms of like open world and like chopping trees and building, it is absolutely similar to like something like Valheim. One hundred percent true. Um, Grounded, mm, I mean, Grounded was a more playful game. Like, it had some challenging content, but, like, the, the design and the aesthetic was definitely, like, of a more playful nature. Um, comparing it to Valheim, Valheim, the story was almost non-existent, right? There was, like, there's five bosses, go beat them up for Odin, and then you win. And then later on, they added more. In Enshrouded, I can already tell that, like, there's, there's like, journals and diaries and stuff you find around. There's quests, there's people you talk to. Like, there is a bit more of a story in that um, than Valheim. But honestly, the gameplay is extremely similar. Like, if you like Valheim, I think you'd probably like Enshrouded. Almost. Upcoming payment. Ah, they're, they're they're trying. They're working on it. Uh, let's do that and that. Need twenty five pack of trade goods. Pack. Trade goods. What is this? The lumber mill makes it. They're trying. Stones, with those. Cannot harvest that. Pick a thing. Gain two provisions for every 10 herbs. I'm not getting herbs. Traders have more blueprints. Newcomers arrive faster. Um, I took a thing where traders arrive less often as a trade-off. I guess I'll get leftover crops and hope to get some herb stuff later. Can do another trade. Let's break into there. Harvester's camp has no deposits nearby. Okay. And two more harpies to finish that quest. Need for skewers fulfilled and lizard houses. Um... Are we not making skewers? Let's prioritize that, I guess. Forager's camp. Uh, the packs of goods are done. So now we can turn that in and we can drastically turn down how many of these things we're gonna make because we don't need that many resources pumping into these all the time. Uh, let's do that. All right, so focus on oil, you abandoned skewers. Yeah, I forgot. Did we pay her off in time? 55. I'm not sure if we did or not. The fact that I suddenly have 60 and I told it to cap at 35, I don't know how I ended up at 60. I'm getting it from something else. Herb camp has nothing else nearby. Um, all right, this is the good herb camp, so we're not going to dismantle it. We'll just take the people out of it. All 
All right, I need two more harpies. Either one of these accomplishes that. We'll go for this one because the clothes. Uh, Cooperage, I don't have built yet. Oh, I could level this up. Um... That's enough. We'll find out. Another trade route. That'll possibly finish that. Look at all the cards. I love it. I've never had so many cards. Sir Ruled Redmain. Um, 10% faster villagers on roads. More wine, more biscuits. Generous donation. Um, get a whole bunch of nice foods for our people. You know I spoil you. Look at all that resolve. Oh my god. Yes. All right. Can we make that second hearth? I've been trying to find space for you. Oh, the boxes and stuff are in the way. What about down here? Yes, if I move this. Um, let's see, do any of this impact me turning close? I'll give you middle click on a thing in the trader window. It'll do the same as the left side. Really? That is good to know. Oh, I forgot about unnatural erosion taking away oil and stuff. All right, should be fine. I need 20 amber. Suddenly I have 100 skewers with that. Uh, let's see, could count other worker. None of this really helps. I'll just hold on to this for the moment. Cooperage is done. Let's see. It can make clothes is the main thing. Um, we've already got another building for tea. Although we can make barrels, let's just limit it to like five. All right, stop chopping trees. Burn a coal. Not good enough, burn a second coal. Still not good enough. Dude, I really don't want to burn three. It may be that or lose a harpy and I don't want to do that. Yikes. Used up over 50 coal there, but we got through it. Um, put a guy in here. And let's load these back up. Upcoming payment. Oh my gosh, Mucky. Mucky! Go away! Lady coming in here with a gun to my head. Uh. Blood price contract. Gain 10 amber whenever a villager leaves or dies. Resistant to corruption. Packs of trade goods are worth more. Um, I guess value added tax. All right, let's uh, let's break into there.
Oh, that's a decoration. I can destroy that and get stuff. Stonecutter's camp. Forger's camp has no more deposits. I'm not leather and wood, get all the fibers. Yes. Uh, let's not sell the cloth. Income tax complete. We're almost done. We need one more pip. Would this do it? Let's see, we need three, four, six, four. Yeah, this would win it. Nice! Nice! Can we do this too? Just for funsies? Calm the spirits with oil. Dude, everyone gets calmed down with oil on this map. Oh my god. Everyone wants oil to calm down. Hmm. How's Miss Muck liking the face buzz? Um, I mean, she loves how it looks on me. Sometimes she likes how it feels. Sometimes she doesn't. GG! That went really well. We had a lot of red at one point, but... Hmm. Is she enjoying her new job or still plotting the company owner's demise? Oh, I'm sure she's got an insurance policy out on me. But whether or not this big ZD is poisoned remains to be seen. Uh, win a game near the Overgrown Library modifier. Uh, win a game in the Coral Forest biome and on Viceroy difficulty. Ooh, lots of rewards. Back to the world map. Amok says Viceroy is difficult enough where he's afraid to move into Prestige 1. Yes, I do. Shut up. Let's see. Coral growth. Hold on. Got some sauce. Uh, okay, that's just a decoration. 50 XP. And buy upgrades. What do we got? Discounts. Additional cornerstone choice. Additional cornerstone choice? All right. Um, just trying to figure out how how many like pips I can travel. Uh, corrosive torrent. No resources will be refunded after destroying a building. Oh dang! That changes my whole strategy, but gives you a royal resupply. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Deeds. Corrosive. Yeah, I've never beaten that. That, oh boy, I'm gonna have to like fight my muscle memory a little bit for this one. Hold on, what is the difference between Viceroy and Prestige 1? Max hostility 31, hostility times 3, 1 positive, 4 negative. Prestige 1. It says the same numbers. Uh, each level adds a new challenge. Winning Prestige Run unlocks further Prestige levels. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I want to deal with that right now. <laughs> I'm enjoying this game. But the amount of time I can tell this game's going to take to beat it with uh, all the seals and stuff is going to be a very long time. Alright. Six people, and then two would be eight. But you're locked in with those races, or start with the foxes and might get different races. <clears throat> they start with better supplies. Hmm. 
gonna go for the foxes and see if we can get better people. Uh, how's the soil on this map? Average amount. All right, let's start with a small farm and more people. And oh, we got three more points. What? Hmm. Pretty confident you can do Prestige 1 Monk? Maybe. Don't know if I want to do it right now, though. Viceroy is still quite challenging. Especially when I'm trying to eat Big G. Oh boy. Alright, well that's our three races. They are locked in. All right. Geyser over there. Um, hmm. All right, and then I have to remember that if I try to sell a building, it's just flat out destroyed. So I need to like store buildings that aren't being used. Forester's Hut, Tool Shop. Let's go Forester's Hut. Lumber Mill. Upgrade the trapper's camp. Big shelter. Crude workstation. Shift post. Pick a thingy. Um, let's see. Open. Do two glade events, or do two glade events and deliver three materials. Rewards for this one are better, so I'll get that. Make a harvester's camp, a stone cutter's camp, and deliver ten bricks. Or deliver 30 flour. Grain supply. Uh, I have... Wait, mold supply. Okay, we'll go for that. Because I did pick farm as a starter. Five of each. Uh, fabric production. That's huge. Wow. Um, grain production increased every 25 times it's produced. I love that because it'll scale. Ah. This is an example of where it can help to wait till you open a dangerous glade, just because you can see what, if anything, there might need the upgrade to camp. Fair. Alright, let's take one of these out and put them here. And have them focus on planks. I hope I get hauling carts again. It was so great having those swarm of hauling carts go zooming all over the place, fixing everything. It reminded me of when we play Stranded and I get the delivery drones.
Um, blue. Oh man, sorry. Uh, blue says, when are you planning on playing the spooky game? The spooky game? Um, the next one I'm really interested in playing is Poppy Playtime Chapter Three, which comes out in four days. Now, Poppy Playtime Chapter One and Two were each like Chapter One was like an hour long. Chapter Two was like two hour, two or three hours long, I think. Hold on a second. Um. I'm going to go to Muckluck Plays here and look at the length of the playlist. Poppy. Uh, playing chapter one and two together was three and a half hours. Uh, so I assume that uh, we could do, you know, chapter three in like one night. We'll see. there so they can carry more. Resolve is not good. I need them to finish this house so they're not homeless. Alright, that helps a little. Alright, burning two wood to get through the storm. Hmm. 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 Mist piercers. Can see the content of every glade, but when you open it, the queen's impatience increases by 0. 0.5. Hmm. <laughs> that includes small glades, though. No, I don't want that. You're wrong. People are feeling oddly rebellious. Gain one resolve for every two impatience. Choose one blueprint from all blueprints. Oh, we can get the kiln. What is the organization for the screen? There it is. It's not alphabetical. I don't know what it is. Oh, let's do the... Uh, let's level up the hearth. There's a search bar in the top right of that window. I didn't realize it. Should still be organized in some fashion, though. Three or three. Let's get that one. And that guy there. Alright, let's stop eating raw meat. We can cook it. You're gonna love it, I promise you. Um, and stop making bricks at the crude workstation. Uh, oh, we've got homeless also. Let's do that. All right. Oh, wait, we've got a field here. Wait, what? When did we get this field? Resource nodes depleted during drizzle spawn fertile soil. Oh. oh, well, that was convenient. Wait, the, the node has to be depleted during drizzle? That's very specific.
Muck is a lizard. His search is based on movement. As soon as you move, you're going to regret saying that. Let's see. Pick. Uh, make three rain engines. Or fox resolve above 16 and two blade events. T production. Do that. Um, 15 of each of those. Get plus one to production of all packs. And packs are made faster. Or 20 crops and we get more goods from the farms. Let's get more goods from the farms. Drizzle buff uh, also works when destroying resource nodes. You can destroy a resource node? I didn't know you could do this. I did not know you could do that. Huh. So you could just nuke a node for the farm plot thing. Very interesting. All right, um, small farm or forester's hut? I think we're going to go for the forester's hut because we don't have any kind of ore or anything. More often than not, losing the node is worth more than the farm plot would give. Yeah, it says you get nothing if you do that. I, I was only, I would only consider that with this thing that gives farm plots. Woodcutter's camp has no more trees nearby. Um, need more peoples. One day Muck will nuke a gigantic node just to meme us all. <laughs> like the day I bought Juggernaut just to prove a point. Resolve is in the positive? I'm surprised. I'm still gonna stop these. I'll put one here and put two more here. I have a tiny fear that I'm gonna like look down, take a bite, and look up, and a fox will be dead. <laughs> like they're freaking so they're so delicate. I'm like, no. Ah, the fox! What's more delicate, foxes or harpies? They both have the same very low resolve bar, but the foxes are have an actual part of their thing as it says that they're highly prone to, uh, or they're, what, hold on, what is it? Highly susceptible to starvation. So when you run out of food, the foxes die faster than any other race. Um, grain per minute or plant fiber per minute? I love having four choices here. This is great. Who's creeping? Oh, hi, Chip. My my the door to my office just went and opened just a little bit. Chip was peeking in. Um, plant fiber or grain passive income? I guess plant fiber? Is this drizzle? This is drizzle. Uh... 
Oh, that didn't win. Oh, we need more people, that's why. This gives five. Oh no, the stag. No! He wants me to chase him, and I'm gonna do it too, because I'm stupid. Stackers just like treasure goblins. Mm. Trapper's camp has no deposits. All right, so resist the urge to destroy the camp. Just get the people out of it. Oh, we got more um, fields thanks to the drizzle thing. Can I move this? It takes one plank to move it. Do I not have a plank? Oh my god, I don't have a plank? Alright, there. Now it's covering both fields. Oh, and we got a field over here, too. Alright, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Move this. And let's get lamps. LAMP! Do I have any uh, viewers here who was, uh, who saw my playthrough of Visage? <laughs> LAMP! <sighs> Are you standing level two with two settlements? Or do ten trade routes? We'll do ten trade routes. Uh, three ancient tablet. Two loyalty decisions. Try loyalty. Broccoli patch. Uh, all right. So we we reached the stag. Um, it is believed the beast is time to a special treasure awaits the one who finds it. Uh, take all the treasure. The forest will curse your riches by robbing uh, for robbing one of its ancient spirits. Or the treasure stag will share some of its riches with you. I'll take... Hold on, don't I have to do... I have to do two loyalty. Oh, that's empathy. Okay, I'll do release. You gain 25 amber and a small ancient artifact, giving plus one to global resolve. Cool. Um... Okay, so we can use... Hey, we lucked out. Earlier in the game, I chose the large um, trapper thing, and it's about to shine. Large egg nest. All right, what's the bad thing in here? Escaped convicts. Um, I cannot deal with any of this stuff. I can do this but I wouldn't want to do it until after the next storm. <laughs> Guys are there too if I need it. Lumber mill. Uh, let's remove one person from here so we have someone free to build. Can we stop chopping? We have 350 lumber. So let's just take some of the people that were chopping trees and just put them in the warehouse to help out. And put them in here for now. And 
hopefully that's fine. This is so good. Mm. My wife is kind enough to bring me lunch many days when I'm in here streaming in the morning. And often it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Because that's an easy that's an easy way to uh, feed me. And um, that's great. This is great, great. This is like extra great. Alright. Escape convict thing. Um, what is this? Minus eight to resolve while working on it. And then you get this. However, it's not a loyalty decision. But I cannot do any of this other stuff. So we're just gonna do this. Um, let's do that, and then add that. What else do we got? Oh, we need someone at the mill. Pick a thing. Let's see. Um... None of this really helps right now, but this will help soon. It'll give minus 40 hostility, so I'll take that. Hey, Chip. Oh, I turn his camera on, and he immediately is like, let's clean my butt. Uh, if one of you makes that a patron noise, I'm declining it. I'm going to tell you right now. I know what y'all are about. Uh, I can't really do any of that right now, so that's just going to be planks. Alright. Let's remove these and do this. Alright. Uh... Stone cover place is working. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm, can we make any fancy houses? A couple of fox ones. I got that to level two. So you get that. I can turn that in. Which is glorious. Oh, I never built the trading building. Whoops. This might be the, this is the, definitely the longest uh, I've gone in a game today before getting that done. Mm. Reroll. I don't have tools yet. Good tools. So Hilda has arrived. Mm. All right, bought some food from her just to be safe because we were getting kind of low. Let's build a warehouse over here, because there's a lot of goods moving around up there. Tool shop. Let's see. Use planks for this. Don't think I need to, well, I mean, we could just make like until there's five, just in case we need it for something obscure, I guess. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. All right, relocate that. We're all about hygiene. <laughs> Chip. Uh, let's see.
Blade events completed. Turn that in. <clears throat> Choose an order. Um, deliver 70 amber. I have zero. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that right now. I cannot do that right now. This kind of sucks. Tablets? Or, you know, I don't know, tablets. Hmm. Selection. Choices. What choices? Um... None of that helps me right now. I'm gonna wait for a little bit on that one. Although there is this. Is this Forager's Camp? Is Big Forager's Camp an option? It is. Alright, I guess I'll get that. Wait, do I already have a Forager's Camp? Oh, I do. It's right here. Alright, so I guess when that's done, I'll move it over. Um, let's add a few more people here. Uh, stop chopping trees. Is that enough? No, it's almost enough. How's the tool production going? Not great. We need more crystallized dew, honestly. Um, that's loyalty, right? Yeah, so let's put one fox on that and he'll start making trips and working on that as the tools are produced. Oh man, I gotta get foxes resolved to 16 and it's at zero. Man, I'm so close, you guys. I'm so close. Travel cost, okay, don't do trade routes during storm on this one. All right. Oh wait, this has the woodcutters chop faster but destroy the trees during storms. Definitely don't want that. Definitely don't want that. When you compare this game to Frostpunk, remind me of Frostpunk 2 is coming out soon. It is, yeah. I actually did a, a scummy react video to uh, the trailer for it because I was like really, really hyped about it. For sure. Hey, Yelena. Thank you for the tier one sub. Luck, luck, Welcome luck. back. Frostpunk 2 will be sick. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it. Absolutely. Hmm. Is that going? No, it's waiting on more tools. Um, okay, pick another thing. This is so great now that I have four options instead of three. Uh, reduce hostility from woodcutters. Honestly, it's not a big deal because I can just reduce the, um, I, I can literally just stop them from chopping because we have so much wood. So that's not a huge deal because I don't need to keep them chopping during storms. Bed and breakfast is 10 amber every time a trader comes in. So I'll pick that. That's a funny concept too. It's like, yeah, hey, welcome to our village. I'll be charging you to stay here. Wait, what? I came to trade with you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trading with you. You don't understand. Oh. Crap. Yeah. I think nothing had been delivered there yet, so I don't think that hurt me in any way. Um, how many foxes? 11 are unaffected by good homes. Okay. I can do some trades, have some barrels. Barrels! Makes me think of game, Gangplank. I haven't even actually played League of Legends since they reworked Gangplank to throw barrels all over the place. But I still know that he goes, Barrel! Barrel! Need 20 packs of crops. Uh... Get the smaller group because of food right now. Hmm. I 
don't know. Flour. I don't have flour production right now. I'll get that. I haven't actually found any fields on this map yet. I've only found... The only fields I have are the ones from, like, you know, stuff turned into fields because of the drizzle thing. Ooh, it's almost 2 o'clock, Chad. No! I can show you Chip now. He's calmed down. There we go. Got it. Got to show him at least once a, once during the stream. He's not showing off the goods. Foragers camp has no more deposits nearby. Relocate. Sother the Ancient. Chat, is that a mask or are those his gigantic lips? <laughs> if I have to see it, you have to see it. Mm. Woodcutters are faster, plus drizzle duration. Let's get those. to have some people homeless during the storm. That's not good. That's not good. Harvester's camp needed. Alright, stop chopping. And burn a coal. How many people do I have making coal right now? Where's the kiln? I have three. Oh, they're also making jerky, though. Their, 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 their job is divided between coal and jerky. All right, we'll burn one, one wood and one coal. Ah, two forbidden glades within 15 minutes. Oh, I've never even seen this. What, plus 100% to the amount of goods from woodcutter's camps. Uh, use 100 water of all types, or 25 luxury goods. I don't think I could cut into two forbidden blade. Well, uh, can I? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, where's the thing? Cut through, cut into two forbidden glades in 15 minutes. Just cut into them, just get there. There's one there and one there, but then I would be left with two very big problems. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. Like, yeah, I could I could accomplish that. I don't know if I could survive the consequences. I'll do it. I'll do it. This is going to be tricky. Do it, do it, uh, yeah. See if we can do wood cutting during the storm. Ah, uh, favor harpies! Oh my, did you see that? That was so close. Holy crap. Uh, let's see, I need Fox's resolve higher. Thank you. 
Uh, I don't have anyone in the stamping mill. Um, do I need anyone in here? I mean, I guess there's really nothing for them to do right now. Maybe a few pieces of pottery, I guess. Kind of tempted to make a second kiln, which I've never done before. All right, gonna favor foxes to try to get happy foxes done. All right, done. Turn that off. You don't have to both open both at the same time. There's 15 minutes. Well, yeah, but there's 11 minutes now. I do need to open them both soon, TM. All right, move this here and exit them. Uh, I can do... That's my second loyalty decision. Butcher, scribe, provisioner, tavern. Tavern for... Uh, I'm almost positive I want tavern for the plus three to all resolve. Do that there. Oh, and I don't have anyone working in this. Clan hall, tea doctor, bathhouse. Uh, plus one resolve for every 200 times you burn st sacrifice stuff. I think I'll take bathhouse for this one. All right. Ah, oh, man. All right. I will have to tear myself away, chat. It is past 2 p.m. I do have to take off. I'm going to save it right here, and we will pick it up from this moment next time. All right, you guys, thank you for a wonderful morning stream. Uh, before I head out, I'm going to do something a little different from what I usually do at the end of each stream. Uh, usually, you know, I do my usual plugs. If you're new here, my name is Mukluk. I stream every single day. If you would like to join us again in the future, hit the follow button on Twitch, like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, the usual stuff. However, uh, rather than raid someone else, I am going to uh, plug a video that I am literally making public right this second. So this is a video project that uh, Noxie and I worked on for the last week, and it is a game review uh, with some humor thrown into it of a game that I recently did called Spellforce Conquest of EO. So if you guys would like to help a content creator out, get some, uh, you know, the first views on a new video, this is the link to it. I'm putting it in both of the chats. And uh, honestly, just this is kind of an experiment. I want to see how it does. Uh, when, like making a video go live while I'm live on air wrapping up a stream. So kind of rating the video rather than like rating another Twitch content creator. So if you want to see one of my new works and uh, also help it kind of take off, uh, once again, there it is in the chat and uh, would love to share it with you. Uh, this is one of the most passionate projects I've been doing on the side outside of streaming itself is doing these game reviews. I've done a few dozen of them at this point. Uh, they've actually helped me get a few of the uh, sponsors that we have had on stream uh, in the past, but yeah. So that is our review of Spellforce. Would love for you to see that. Um, and as always, special thank you to our dear patrons. They are wonderful. They keep this channel alive and that's them right there. And uh, if you're interested in that, I'll have a link to that in the chat as well. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I will see you tomorrow.